Hey, my name's Jay, and I occasionally jump onto some Microsoft uh, 365 forums on Facebook, and today I found this one from Tiffany. She says, uh, hi, I'm new here, need help creating a flow. Basically what she's trying to do, and after a little bit of back and forth, we um, establish that she's trying to create a new task in Planner, reoccurring every week. And so today we're gonna to take the assumption that she wants it to happen every Monday. Heading into Teams, you can see here I've got a new Planner tab. The Planner tab's called Weekly Plan Meeting and we've got a to-do bucket um, listed here. So let's jump into Power Automate. We're gonna create a new task, uh, automated flow. We're gonna give it a flow name of Weekly uh, Planner Task. Um, I find it much easier to find the triggers within the actual flow. So I'm just gonna skip that step. And here under the triggers, uh, I know that the reoccurrence one sits under built-in schedule reoccurrence, or you could just type in search for reoccurrence there. So we want reoccurrence to happen every one uh, week. Uh, we want it to happen on Monday at 8 a.m. And the time zone is really important because I was going to generate in the wrong time zone. So we're going to have an, uh, Monday 8 a.m. every week in Sydney. So that's pretty easy first step. Next step, let's go add a planner task. Uh, so we can do uh, create a task. Um, the group ID is the group of in Microsoft Teams. So that's that one. Planner ID is that weekly plan meeting we just saw. The title we're gonna give it is something that all officers need to do regularly. It's cleaning the coffee machine. Bucket ID is that to-do bucket. Um, we'll skip uh, start date and um, end date, uh, due date, sorry. And we'll put the assigned user as myself just to get somebody in there. So if we hit save on that, um, you can come up to the test, hit I'll perform trigger action, hit test. That'll bypass the reoccurrence and actually run it now. And then once we hit run flow, you'll see that it's all green, all ran successfully. There's not much for it to do there, so it ran really quickly. And coming back into planner, hit refresh, and there is a double coffee machine because um, the power of editing videos does it twice. <laughs> Um, so there's our clean coffee machine. Uh, it's in the to-do bucket, no start date, no time, no notes or anything. Nice and easy. So we'll delete that and come back to Power Automate. Uh, hit edit. So we need to do a couple more steps. Let's say we wanna give it a due date. So in order to give it a due date, um, you'll see here that there's a Z on the end of this due date. The Z means that it's expecting a time in UTC format. So we just have to remember that as we go through and it's expecting the time in this format. So we've got year, month, day. So we're gonna go uh, add a date time, we're gonna add a dynamic content expression of this. Pretty easy expression. Uh, we're gonna say UTC now, which is the current time in the UTC format, which is what it's expecting. And then we're gonna go add days. We're gonna add five days to it. And then uh, we're gonna spit it out in a particular format that it's expecting which is the year, month, day. Because we don't care about the time, we're just gonna leave that. Hit okay, and that adds it in. So now, if we went and saved that, hit test, I'll perform the trigger action, run flow. We can see here that the uh, due date is populated, and because we ran it on a Friday, in five days time is the 14th. Because we've got the schedule to run every um, Monday, it's going to run it in uh, due date in five days time, which is the Friday, and then the next schedule will run next Monday. So that matches our weekly task. So uh, the next thing would be to add some detail to this task. So if we go new step, planner, scroll down a little bit to find uh, update task details. The task ID is going to be the task from um, that we created up above here. So we're gonna go enter custom value. We're not gonna select the one that's there. Enter custom value, dynamic content. So we want from the create a task step earlier, we want the ID listed under that. And then this description here is what's going to display under the notes here. So let's just so we don't confuse ourselves, delete that one and we're gonna go enter in here. 
And so now if we hit save on that, uh, test, perform the trigger action, run that one, see that it all shows up green. And under here, hit refresh. Now under our clean coffee machine, we've got some notes in there. What would be better, because we want them to order some more milk and coffee, is if we had a link direct to the um, website where they're gonna order the coffee from. So back into Power Automate, uh, hit edit. Under this update task details, these reference aliases down the bottom, poorly worded, but it's actually an attachment. So under the um, task here, you've got attachments down the bottom. So let's just clean this one up for when we run it next time. Uh, I'm going to go into attachment and I'm going to say order coffee and milk and then the website that we order that from is Woolworths because that's one of the major chains in Australia and now hit save, test, run that, all green because it's nice and quick and easy and then refresh in here will show us our clean the coffee machine. The Woolworths logo has come up um, and there's a link there because it automatically ticks the show on card for one of the attachments. So if you were to put three or four attachments in there, it's gonna show on the card the last attachment in the chain from the Power Automate flow. So um, just keep that in mind. So now we've got um, clean the coffee machine. It's been assigned to my uh, account. We've got a due date, got some notes, got an attachment. I think we're all done. One caveat, checklists. Checklists um, are not supported by default out of the box using the built-in flows within Power Automate at the moment, uh, built-in connectors, sorry. They're actually on the dev channel for last month. It was meant to go into public beta. I don't have it in my tenancy. Um, you may have it in yours. Hopefully it'll be out general availability shortly, but it's something to maybe just keep checking back in Power Automate once a month or something in here. Uh, if you hit add an action, you'll often see things like this uh, V2 preview come up. Um, so I would maybe come in here and just check, see if any of the other ones have V2 in about a month's time. And hopefully you'll get it so you can add in tasks, uh, add in checklist items. Um, again, at the moment you can't. There is a massive workaround to it, but it's not worth going through. Just add in your... Uh, your checklist item into the notes for the time being. That's it for today. Uh, hope that's helped. Please reach out in the comments or on Facebook if you need any more help or if you've got an idea for me to do a video. Have a great day.